Hey, what's up, guys? This is Daigo Kango here, back here with another episode of Recent Pickups. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed your Black Friday, Thanksgiving, your holidays, whatever you celebrated. I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, got a few things here. It's going to be a long video, but let's get right into it. Uh, first off, I want to start off by showing a reproduction um, release, which is a PC Engine Memories Turbo Duo Edition. So if you guys remember from the uh, first video, I had the uh, the first uh, edition of this. Now I have the second version of this now, uh, which in comes inclusive with uh, Bronx 3, Bronx Adventure, which is this guy here, right in the back. This is the Dynastic Hero. <coughs> Excuse me. It's pretty good. This is, uh, I believe this is like Wonder Boy. On the uh, Sega system, which is really good. Uh, Godzilla, which is another rare item right here. I haven't even cracked none of these open as of yet, and as you can see, uh, or this was pretty good. And Dungeon Explorer 2. Heard good things about this game here as well. These are uh, pretty good. So I got these all from uh, PC Engine Works. Uh, so these are pretty good. I'm glad he came through with these. So uh, these are nice, uh, good, nice repros. Different from the originals, but I like them. So that's cool. Comes in this little, nice little box case and everything. Um, it also came along with uh, the back sleeve. You know, if you like stuff like this here. And came with the Godzilla illustrations by Yuji Kaida. Which is this long poster here. That thought was nice. Oh, I thought that was pretty awesome. You know, I'm sending in stuff to me. Thanks, PC Engine Works. Uh, good stuff here. Uh, I think they gave me some bookmarks, but I don't feel like showing all of that. Now, if you remember on my last episode where I had uh, Akumano Joe Dracula X just in a sleeve, uh, I got an actual case for it now from a guy in Canada. Uh, I'll put his description in, just put his name in the description below. So uh, he gave me an actual case art with the Castlevania Rondo of Blood front and the back of it came with a, his own printed instruction manual so which was pretty decent he did a good job with everything in here which was cool you know I thought that was pretty awesome of him so I mean it is a it is a repo game so why not have it in a repo case <laughs> so that's a good thing um, happy about this Alright, so I got some more PC Engine stuff to show off, too, that I picked up recently. Uh, another game I got here is uh, called Browning. This is actually it's a mech warrior type game. You know, you shoot pretty much anything. Kind of like uh, any type of Gundam game that has a gun in it. Side-scrolling, action, shoot 'em up type game. Really hard. Kind of has a little difficulty to it, but it's not bad for what I got it for. It was wasn't too bad of a game. I thought it was pretty good. Um, tough, but a really good pickup on this one here. Uh, if you remember from my last video, I had the uh, Valus 1 and Valus 3. So now I finally have the other two, which is Valus 2 and Valus 4. So I finally got these guys here. So I finally have my complete Valus collection, except for like a visual... A disc or something like that. I don't have that, but I have all four games now, so that's a good thing. So now I have the uh, first game, <laughs> the second game, the third game, and now number four. So that completes my Valus collection I have there, which I'm like, woohoo! So that's good for that. So that's all my PC Engine stuff I picked up recently. Um, kind of dipping into the next gen. Which I have a PS4 game which I got on launch. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront. Deluxe Edition. Haven't really got too much into this really though. But I know it's really good though. So I played it a lot. I still like the old school Battlefront games. Which are really good. Um, came in a few things like a season pass. Uh, from when I got it. When I ordered it. It gave me uh, this little patch thing right here. That I thought was cool. I got one of those guys there. Um... Yeah, overall, I thought this was alright. This is a fun first-person shooter, third-person shooter type game. Um, it's really good. Flying and everything. I haven't really got too deep into it, so 
I'm still waiting on a season pass for this game as well. So, plus, I also wanted to add on that I did get a figurine with it, a pop figurine, when I picked up my uh, copy of Battlefront, which is my boy Chewbacca. <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> I thought this was pretty cool to add on to the uh, people that purchased the game. So, this was awesome. Um, you're fine. I like these little guys here, too. Uh, next up, uh, I got something in the mail as of today from uh, MagicalGameFactory.com. I'm pretty sure half of you might know what this is already, but I'm just going to crack it open. I already cracked most of it open already, so let's see what this is. All right. And it's a role-playing game, Pure Sola and the Great Architects on the Dreamcast. Even this little funky hang you up uh, type cases. <laughs> this is a uh, pretty cool. I was interested in this game for quite a while actually, since the uh, the Genesis version came out a while back. Um, I always wanted to get it on the Dreamcast. Uh, I preferred to get it on a Japanese case because most of the uh, the newer Dreamcast games come out in these type of Japanese cases. So I figured, why not break the tradition? You know, so. <laughs> Ghost play came in this type of case, so I might as well buy it like this. Um, kind of reminds me of Lunar a lot, and a couple of, like early Final Fantasy games ish to me. But can't wait to crack this bad boy open and try it out. Um, hyped about this. And now on to the uh, hardware section. Uh, recently on Black Friday, I picked up an Amazon Fire tablet. As you can see, I cracked the box open already. Um, not too bad. I just got it the other day. So it's an eight gigabyte quad core front and rear cameras, and it has a micro SD card that goes up to 128 gigabytes. You might see some of my dirty fingerprints on it, but not too bad. It works, so it does its job. You know. Let's see if I can put a game on it or something. I had this download like Sonic CD and stuff. So hopefully it'll load up in this demo. No. Sega. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah. So got that. Um also just picked up while I was out on Black Friday a two terabyte laptop hard drive for my PS4. Um this is actually really good. It took me about six hours to do this. Um I have a video on my Instagram page that I might post in the link uh showing me how much uh, gigabytes and data it has on there. Um, I had to pretty much sit down and take out my old 500 gigabyte hard drive. I had to back it up to an external device first. All my data, all that stuff I have, like all the games I have, my save data, I backed it up to an external device, which is about 500 gigabytes. Then I had to, that took about three hours. Then I had to uh, swap the hard drive out and put this bad boy in there. And then had to wait another three more hours to restore the data back on from the external device that I have onto that hard drive. And long as to be short, it's pretty beneficial. This guy here works. Um, as long as you get like a laptop size, 2.5 inch, anything 2 terabyte, you can get a solid state. I chose to get this because um, I wanted 2 terabytes so everybody else getting a 1. Um, yeah, so that's good on that half. And a little, let's see, I got one more thing I had to pick up too recently was... Uh, I'm a big PlayStation guy from over 20 years, so I had to get the uh, classic controller. I haven't cracked this open yet, but I mean, it's PlayStation, so kind of the uh, retro limited edition feel to it, which is pretty good. It's just like any other controller, just with the you know the old school retro PlayStation look to it. And I think that's mainly it. Last but not least, um, this is what I got from uh, Halo Night. I don't even have the game yet, but they, uh, I have the book which is the art of Halo 5 Guardians. Uh, I haven't read it yet or looked at it as of yet, but I know it's an art book, so yeah. Pretty much an art book, so it's nothing to read. It's just the art mostly for the game and everything they have in there, which I think is pretty cool. It's like brand spanking <laughs> brand spanking new. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And I think that's mainly it. So what do you guys think? You know, I might make another video like this again. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. You know, let me know any suggestions, any other videos you think you want me to do. Let me know in the comments below. 
And on that note, thank you for watching my uh, video. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.